definitely some really good information on there. It, it is, because that is a stressful thing to deal with. Mm. No question, the resume and right? so many questions that go into it. Keep it updated, keep fluffing it. But not you, Matt Wentz. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, buddy. <laughs> That's right. You're stuck. <laughs> you are. Oh, who's yeah. running around in the background? You have action happening. Yeah, Emmy's, uh, which I love. She's not into princesses and stuff. She's into worms and dirt. She picked a bunch of worms out of the ground, and then she's, I think she's giving them a helicopter ride safely in a little cup. Is that what you're doing, honey? Yeah. Oh yeah, fantastic. They're on the air conditioning unit right now. <laughs> Mine of her own. So uh, Peter's going to be after me now. That's great. But um, yeah, guys, speaking back to resume, I mean, you look back at some of the old resumes. I don't know how I got hired. I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know that that information was certainly worthwhile. Uh, you know, what was worthwhile this morning for some of us uh, was some of the shower and thunderstorm activity. A lot of us awakened by some of those really loud rumbles last night. We had the flooding ongoing across a good portion of the northern half of the viewing area today. And going back through time, this was along that frontal boundary that was moving in last night widespread one to three inches. We had lots of flash flooding going on. Thankfully, everything's kind of dried out here this evening and we're going to dry out over the next couple days as well. We'll get some wind that will help to kind of uh, get rid of those puddles and some of that uh, leftover water. And we're also going to see some sunshine, but not really tonight. We have brightening skies this evening, but not a whole lot of sun coming out of that. There's some filtered sunshine. You can see where that boundary has laid just down to our south and the east. If you join me on Sunday night, I was talking about how this boundary was going to be around for 10 days straight and we are now in day four of this same frontal boundary that's going to flop back and forth over the area. We are now on the cool side of things after being on the warmer side earlier today. But once you know it, here comes back towards the south. You can see that warm front. That warm air is surging in our direction. They have another day of snow up in Minnesota and areas of the Dakotas. This will be the snowiest October on record for areas up there. But for us, we don't deal with that. We get back into that summer like pattern. And again, we could see some more showers around tonight. I don't think we'll see too many rumbles of thunder tonight versus last night but certainly we're gonna be heading back for the warmth. So let's talk it out hour by hour. You can see our steady temps tonight. We settle right around the mid fifties and then we'll head northbound with those temps around three to five o'clock in the morning. We'll start to warm things up. Your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. You can see tonight how we're dealing with the clouds, perhaps some showers. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some areas of fog as well. We've got a lot of waterlogged soil and moist atmosphere as well. So you could wake up to some fog. Things are gonna change rapidly tomorrow. We may wake up to some showers, especially further north you are. Watch what happens though by midday. We start to erode the clouds from the south. We're going to break out into beautiful sunshine area wide. We'll have a nice south wind. Temperatures on the other side of that boundary, they've been so different. We're going to make it into the mid 70s. A wonderful afternoon tomorrow. And those temperatures are going to hold tomorrow evening. A strong south wind. We're still in the 60s. If you perhaps want to do some late night grilling outside, 10, 11 o'clock, you're fine. And then Friday morning, that's how we're going to start in the 60s, some sunshine. But then things go the other way on Friday. We'll increase those clouds and you can see we bring in eventually some showers and thunderstorms later in the day. So we've got a wonderful set of hours here late Thursday, actually most of the day tomorrow on into Friday. Universal Windows Direct 7 day forecast shows what happens after that. Cold front goes by Friday. We chill down for Saturday. Temps steady all day. We warm back up slightly with some rain around Sunday night and Monday and then temps fall again next week. So we've been highlighting on the 10 day forecast these next two days. And they're here. It feels like Christmas Eve, doesn't it? It does. It's going to be nice and toasty out there. And, you know, gosh, for everybody in that midnight snack, grilling it up with burgers and dogs at 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> go for it. Why not? <laughs> Hey, Matt, did you check That's the resume right. of that pumpkin mm -hmm. before you got it? Yeah, what's with the pumpkin? What's the deal? Um, yeah, you know, the squirrels have done wonders to our uh, fall decorations around here. So I hope they're bummer. happy wherever you are, squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, you just chewed a hole in it. Oh, okay. So if you have mysterious holes showing up in your pumpkins at home, blame the squirrels or the chipmunks. Good, good tip. <laughs> Thanks, it. Matt. Backyard naturalist Matt Wentz <laughs> joining us this evening.